Hello, my name is Paul Melrose and welcome to this third video in a series of short videos showing you how to use Google+. I'm on the home page of the account for Non de Plume and if you watched the last video which I made yesterday, you'll recognize this and you'll see this post here by the Dalai Lama. And he posted this yesterday and I've had no new updates from anybody since then. So my account is very quiet and I'd like to see more action, I'd like to see more content coming in. So what I need to do is add some more people. And uh, this brings us to the next big topic, which is circles. So I'm going up the top, I'm going to the five navigation buttons and I'm clicking on circles. When you begin your account, start your account, you're going to have a number of default circles from Google, friends, family, acquaintances, following. And yesterday I added religious, which you saw in the last video. Now you can see I have nobody in the first four circles and only one in the last. Now the basic concept behind circles is very similar to tags if you use Gmail. If I want to, I can take anybody I've added and I can put them in any number of circles. So at the moment, the Lama is in my religious circle, but perhaps he's a friend of mine, so I can also drag him and drop him in a friend circle. Now he's in two different circles. I also might want to put him in the family circle. Now he's part of my family. So I can decide who I want to put in which circles. Why would I do this? Well, perhaps I want to share a piece of content that I only want my friends and family to see. When I make a post and send out a post, I can decide to direct it only to those particular circles so only they can see the content. I can also decide to share something publicly or I can share something to all my circles. And we'll have a look at this in more detail in the next video when we look at posting. But for now we want to add more people because we only have one at the moment. Different ways of doing this and the first way is to search directly for someone you, you have in mind. And I'm going to do this now by using the search box at the top. And I'm going to type in Paul Melrose. Search. And there's different results here but the first one, this is the account I'm looking for, this is me. And I want to add to circles. So I'm going to hover my mouse over the red. And I'm going to add Paul to friends. I'm also going to make a new circle. And it's going to be education. And I'm going to click create. Okay, so now Paul is in my circles. I'm going to go back to my home page. And you'll see at the top here, I have Paul's photograph, Dalai Lama's. And then I'm going to go down the page. And you'll see I have a post here from Paul, myself which I posted a couple of days ago. And it's a photograph I took when I was on holidays in Lake Garda. So now I'm getting content from two different people. But if I look at the content closely, I see the word public after the date of each of these. So I'm only getting the public postings. This is because I have added these people to my circles, but they have not added me to their circles. So I'm only seeing what they post publicly. So I'm gonna click on my photograph, Paul Melrose, and here is the home page. And I see here over the corner, two circles, green, and they're the circles I have him in. But there's nothing written underneath. So I know that I am not in Paul's circles. So we're gonna go over to my account, which is Paul Melrose, and we're gonna see how Paul would add non de plume to his circles. Okay, so here I am. I'm in the Paul Melrose account, my normal account. And if I look up at the top here, beside my name, there's a little red one. And I'm gonna click on this, and this will give me my notifications. It'll tell me my most recent activity, whether or not someone commented on a post I put up, um, or has added to a common thread, um, I'm active in, etc. And I see here, added me, added you, and there's an on the bloom. Now I'm going to right click on this, I'm going to open a new tab because I don't. I want to have two tabs open. And here is Nanda Bloom a profile page, the public. And I can click on About, and I can see this person went to DIT. Normally, I would not add this particular account because there's so little information, but I know who it is. So I'm going to add this person back. Hover my mouse over, and I'm going to put this person into uh, e-learning, ESL, which is English Second Language Teaching and education keepers. So now Paul Melrose has added Nanda Bloom to three circles. We're going to go back to Nanda Bloom's account. I'm going to click on the home button. 
Now, if we go down the page, you're going to see that the last post from Paul Melrose was the public post, the photograph of Lake Garda. But if I click on Paul's name and I go to his posts, I'm now able to see his limited posts that were in the circles he has put me in. So he put me in education, he put me in ESL, and he put me in education um, uh, keepers. And I can now see any posts he's shared with those circles. And there's the last public post he made. I don't know what circles Paul Melrose put me in. I just know that he put me in some circles. And likewise, Paul Melrose does not know what circles Non de Bloom put him in. That information is not shared. The only thing you know is that you are in that person's circles or circle. Let's go back to the home page. You'll also notice here that at the top there's a post with a photograph of a boat going across a bridge, a canal. And written here is what's hot on Google+. Google will insert these occasionally and it's a list of the most popular posts at the moment on Google+. It's another way that you might decide to pick up people. So let's say you find a post that you, you like. And you look at Cam here and you say, okay, Cam might be interesting. You can click on his name, bring you to his home profile page. You can have a look at his content. You might like his content. You can have a look at his about. He's an IT consultant, so you can see where he's educated. And this is a good profile because it gives me a good idea of who this person is and what their interests are. And there's a reasonable amount of content up. And interestingly, uh, Cam is sharing a circle. So he shared a circle here. Um, and if I want to, I can view the circle, click on it. So I'll see all the names and I can individually hover over and get information on the people. And if I like this circle, I can click add circle like this. I get a dialog box and I can give this whatever name I want to and add this to my database. And that's probably the fastest way of growing your database is adding circles like this. Now I'm going to show you a very quick way of finding circles which are specific to your interests. I'm going to search for Paul Melrose again. I'm going to go to his account. I'm going to click on About. I'll go down to his introduction. And you'll see down here Circles Directory. I'm going to click on this and it opens a Google spreadsheet which is publicly shared which lists circles according to general category and then circle names. So you have animals, dog park, 55 people in the circle, the address for the circle and the person who posted it. I'm going to go down a bit and I'm going to go down to education. And in education you see there is one for e-learning, e-tech. And that was posted by me, shared by me. Uh, there's one for general education. Uh, here, educators, educators, state and school, higher education, posted by me, and ESL, which is English Second Language Teaching, posted by me. I'm not going to add one of these circles because these people will actually go through the, the process of filtering out people who've added them. I'm going to add a small group of celebrities because they have so many people adding them, they're not going to bother filtering, so I'm not going to be bothering them with this. So I'm up in the celebrity section and the first circle is 21 people. I'm going to right click on the link, go to. This brings me to the original post that shared the circle. I'm going to click add circle. I'm going to click celebs. I'm going to click create celeb circles. And there we go. If I go down in my circles now, you can see celebs up here, people are in it and the circle is grayed out, which means it's the one being selected. I'm going to click this little X beside celebs, and that will bring me back into normal mode. So let's go back into my stream and see what adding a celeb circle has done to my content. And you can see here there's a lot more content now. So Felicia Day, Dalai Lama. As you go down, you're going to see a lot more people are able to add content because you're following them and all of these celebs will be will be public and here's the great William Shatner. Now how do I share a circle? Well it's as easy as this. I click on circles. I go to the circle I want to share. I want to share my celeb circle. And once I do that I get options. I can edit, delete or share. Click on share. Um, I'm going to share this with everyone I know. So I'm going to share it with your circles. 
at the bottom. So anyone in any of my circles will see this. I click share. I'm going to go back into my home, my stream. And you see here it is. This is my first post, non the bloom. And non the bloom, share the circle with you. So anybody who goes to my home page will see this. And Paul Melrose could add this, or anybody who, who visits will click add. And that's how you share circles. In the next video, we're going to talk about posting, editing your post, and commenting on other people's content.